Let's go to the latest jobs report. It may hold more than meets the eye. 120,000 jobs added in the month of March. That's much fewer than analysts had expected. The jobless rate dropped to 8.2 percent last month, but economists say it went down because more Americans have simply stopped looking for work. True, job stats show a whopping 22.8 million Americans are now employed or underemployed. That 14.5 percent of the potential U.S. Uh, that is 14.5 percent of the U.S. Uh, potential workforce. And joining me now to explain all of this and more is Ed Butowski. He's the managing partner of Chatwood Investments. Ed, good to see you. Good to see you too, Kelly. You know, I I know these job numbers are out and they're low, but w what's really under the surface of all of this? Sure. And it's funny, Kelly, because that which is easiest to understand is usually accepted as the truth. So it's very easy to hear a number. We went from 8.3 to 8.2. You see it in the headlines and everyone says, wow, things are getting better. But it really isn't, Kelly. The way the unemployment number is calculated, there's, it's literally a survey of 60,000 homes. And if somebody stopped looking for work, they're not considered to be in the workforce. And this is an important thing for everyone to understand. So if you stop looking for work, uh, four weeks and a day, you would not be considered in that survey. So what you're hearing from everybody outside of the headlines is more people stopped looking for work and as a result weren't counted in the workforce, therefore the number went down. This is very troubling. Everybody should be concerned about that. Uh, troubling, it's, it's also very disturbing because that means people yeah. are losing hope and ever mm -hmm. the, in the possibility of ever regaining a job if they're no longer looking for one. Uh, what's your suggestion to people who have just stopped? I mean, what should the government be doing? What should private industry be doing? Uh, one thing I can think of is retraining them. Well, a lot of that. I mean, I'm one of those really determined people, and my suggestion to anybody is you never, ever give up looking and working and uh, trying to accomplish what your, what your goal is. Um, at the same time, you need to be a little more creative. You need to be ingenious with what you're looking for and really evaluate things and look at things a little differently. I mean, maybe if you had done this job before, maybe see if there's some way to get trained on something else. Um, you know, I look to hire people all the time, and I, I really am hesitating right now. And one of the things in the job report, well, Kelly, you hesitating, uh, we haven't Ed, talked about. Just, just real quick, why are you hesitating to hire right now? Because, the, uh, because of clarity on the economy. I mean, uh -huh. I'm, I'm a positive guy, but I'm also positive that I'm not really sure what's going to happen down the road here with the economy. And also, the number one thing, and in that report, Kelly, you saw um, about health, uh, excuse me, healthcare, but retail employment mm -hmm. dropped. And the people I talked to, and I know a lot of very high level people in uh, the retail businesses around the country, they're doing that because of the healthcare issue. They do not want to have full time employees because of the cost. And now we have this whole veil of uncertainty about health care, that along with the Dodd-Frank Act are keeping people from hiring. It's that simple. And as a result of that, we're going to see this number persist. I actually think the unemployment number is going to start ticking higher again. This is not a good situation and it's not getting better anytime soon. That's not a good sign. I was just talking to a, a small business owner uh, the other day who uh, is doing well. Then I spoke to another one who's very concerned about the rising costs mm -hmm. in health care. Basically, he was stating he can't hire contractors to do the work that he would need them to do. Uh, does that pretend that there's some sort of disastrous effect out there uh, on, the, on the economy as well as unemployment? Mm -hmm. Sure. I mean, all of these things are inflationary, if you think about them. The cost for health care is going higher. There'll be a penalty if you don't uh, have health care costs. Dodd-Frank legislation um, you know, is very expensive to most businesses. And as a result of that, they have less money to go out and expand and grow. And they have less comfort. Um, you know, I mean, everybody needs to just not just read the headlines. They really need to get in Dig a little deeper, deeper and understand yeah. this. Yeah, Ed, I thank you. I wish I had more time to talk to you. Uh, it, it's a bleak picture that you're painting, but as you stated yeah. earlier, people should remain hopeful. Go out there and keep uh, pounding the pavement looking for some position. Absolutely. All right, Ed. Thank you very Absolutely. much. Happy Easter to you, by the way. You too. Take care.